Ladies and gents, we have a developing story. This news just coming public. I think this is straight from the FAA. Uh, big shout out to Sloan Joan. Thanks for sharing this with me, bud. Appreciate you. One of my uh, one of my peeps over on Twitter follows me and tagged me on this. So thank you so much for letting us know what's going on here. All right. So the list we have is a list of the airports with 5G buffer. These are exclusion zones for C-band. So when Verizon and AT&T are building out their 5G network with C-band, they are going to have to avoid these airports for now. Now, I'm not sure about the duration of time. The last I checked, it was like six months. I'm not sure if it's going to extend beyond that in the future or to the extent or the range. But the last we checked, we believe that the range was about three to five miles, maybe, in terms of the buffer zone uh, space. It may actually be more. It's possible. I haven't re you know gotten full disclosure of this. But these airports are going to have exclusive exclusion zones or buffer zones from carriers. So here's a list of the first one-third or so markets. You'll see some pretty notable ones there. You got Akron, Ken, which is only about 50 minutes from where I live. Uh, but Cleveland Hopkins isn't there, so I'm very happy about that because I live pretty close to Cleveland Hopkins, you know, and I travel back and forth throughout the city past this area, and that uh, that appears to not be subjected to the exclusive uh, exclusion or buffer zone. All right, you will see some areas there, Austin, right? You got some bigger cities. There's Nashville, Charlotte, Dallas, Fort Worth. There's Dallas, you know, you got a couple of airports. Uh, there's Newark. Uh, you got Fresno. New Haven, there's LAX right there. That's a big one. All right, Harry Reid, you got JFK in New York. Uh, what else? We got Indianapolis, uh, George Bush, Houston. There's Chicago, you got O'Hare, you got Midway, LaGuardia, KC, Orlando. It's a lot of major airports. Miami International, I mean, it's unfortunate, guys, but, you know, this is part of the deal. Raleigh, Durham, Pittsburgh, all these identified, and there's a few more here. John Wayne, St. Louis. Syracuse, and then Teterboro. All right, so you have a lot. Go ahead and you guys can freeze the video at any point to take a look at these markets. You know, unfortunate if you, you know, live in and around these areas within like that five mile or so buffer zone, but nonetheless, it does appear that things are working out between the carriers, Verizon and AT&T and the FAA, and we are going to be seeing the C-band launch but there will be some restrictions at onset as they work through whatever interference risk they believe there to be. But give me your thought on this list. Uh, let me know if you're disappointed about any particular things there, anything that you didn't expect. Uh, we believe that there could be an association here with cargo uh, transport, like massive you know, company hauling. So could be associated with it. We're not really sure, but commercial flights seem to be the, the issue, I think. Um, but we'll see more details to come, I'm sure. If you appreciated this video and you enjoyed it, glad to be updated, then give this video a like, share it to your socials, help people know and get in the, be on the more informed side of wireless networking. Subscribe for more, turn on the bell notifications so you never miss an upload. And uh, do check out the links in the description box. All right, my Twitter handle, my email address, and then the Patreon page. Support us there, get early access to videos and exclusive content not found anywhere else and discounts on those mobile. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.